Hello everyone, this is Anil Khwaja. As you all know, on 16th of June, Engineer Australia has given new updates about the Engineer Australia skill assessment, especially for civil engineering draft person. Now, lots of videos have been made by lots of migration agents, but they're not giving the right advice. They're giving you the half advice and where people don't know about the background, how this is gonna work it out, what exactly things needs to be done in order to make sure that the right pathway is being selected, right documents are being uploaded, and right uh, you know skill assessment process being followed. So I'll explain from the scratch what happened, what needs to be done, and what needs to be taken care in order to make sure that you get a positive skill assessment for civil engineering draft person. Now, one thing I need to let you know, civil engineering draft person is in the priority list for Western Australia, South Australia, and lots of other states are also inviting. But this doesn't mean they have a direct PR or they are the most quickest to get the PR. People are getting invites, but we are not sure how this is going to work it out for the next year. Now, let's coming back to the point that how this news is, uh, you know, helpful, what, what exactly the update is all about. So let's discuss about this thing. So first thing, um, Engineer Australia on 16 June 2025, they have updated their website that civil engineering draft person, those who already are doing advanced diploma civil engineering draft person, they don't need to do a diploma. Now let's go to the history, what exactly happened and why now this changes have again implemented. So before 4 September 2024, those who are doing the advanced diploma civil construction design, because advanced diploma is the requirement to get out skill assessment as per the Engineer Australia MSA guideline or whatever the policies are. Now, what happened before 1st September 2024, people are doing fast track, they were doing the two years diploma, one year diploma, all were counted towards the Australian aggregated pathway. So once you have finished the diploma, you straight away can apply for a skill assessment without writing any CDRs or any further documentation. Now, heaps of applications were getting to Engine Australia, lots of hanky-panky happened, uh, lots of people were doing fast track or whatever. Engine Australia decided that this is the time after 1st September 2024, they will not grant a positive skill assessment if you don't have a prerequisite diploma. Along with, they also added that you need to go with a CDR pathway. There is no Australian accredited pathway. So now every people, everybody started doing the diploma and we similar advised people about this thing. Now, there are three different uh, scenarios on which you can apply for the skill assessment. The first scenario was you have done an advanced diploma fast track. You need to do a diploma in order to get a positive skill assessment outcome post 1st September 2024. Or if you have done an advanced diploma and you have a civil engineering background, like a bachelor of civil engineer, then you don't require to do a diploma. You can still write the CDRs and apply. Or if you have an aggregated advanced diploma with a certain university, then you can straight away apply. Apart from that, all requires a diploma to do it. Now, lots of people were still applying and they were getting refusals because of the CDR quality. So they also in this uh, update, they have given the advice or the uh, policy that what sort of CDRs they require in order to get a positive skill assessment. This is very important as well. So only doing advanced diploma or you have done, uh, you have started advanced diploma prior to 1st September 2024 doesn't means that you write any CDRs and you'll get the positive skill assessment. So this also needs to be taken care. Now, how this are working out, if you are still doing an advanced diploma prior to 1st September, first thing, the advanced diploma needs to be of two years. If it's a one year fast track, then we recommend to do a diploma because ultimately you won't be able to finish all the units in the fast track and engineer Australia will refuse your application because CDR quality would not be that. So you need to ensure that if you're doing a fast track advanced diploma which started prior to 1st September, then you still need to do a diploma. And this implies to similar to those who are doing the post, you know, 1st September advanced diploma, they need to do a package course. Now, if you're doing a two years advanced diploma and that is prior to 1st September 2024, then you're all good. You can still finish the advanced diploma, write the CDRs, and then apply for full skill assessment uh, to Engine Australia based on the CDR pathway. Now, these CDRs episode needs to be very important. As I said, they have given a policy now with CDRs you need to write. So first and the foremost, you need to have a capstan project needs to be submitted with rubric assessment. Now, what does that mean? No agent is 
helping to explain you this one and will explain you that. So Capstan project means that the final year project or a final project which has all the attributes, skills and everything you have studied to become a civil engineering dark person or say you have done advanced plus civil construction design. So one project needs to be a capstan project. That's the final year project. So you need to be very careful. Now final year project, do you write the CDRs like the episodes? But if Engineer Australia asks for a project, then you need to have a rubric assessment as well. It means that the grading needs to be there in the project. If you won't provide the grading, then how much marks you have received in that final year project, your application will get rejected. This is very important. You need to share this information to everyone. So for instance, if you haven't done the project, then you're in trouble. But say if you're submitting a project, it needs to be with the rubric assessment. This is very important. Let's come to the conclusion that this is, everybody should know that this one CDRs needs to be based on the final year capstan project. Rest two projects, you need to be more relevant. In my point of view, you can do a construction project management unit, which is the last project, how to manage the construction project. You know, there is one unit in this advanced diploma that you can use that one in order to write your caption. That is something Indian Australia also recommend. Now let's summarize it. So now post September 2024, you guys have three options to go for. First is if you're doing your advanced diploma two years properly, Pre 1st September 2024, you're all good. Finish your two years advanced diploma. You don't need to do a diploma. Write CDRs, get your English and submit. That's all you need to do it and hopefully get a positive outcome. If you have done, if you're doing an advanced diploma post September 2024, you need to make sure that it's a two years course and meeting all the units. Third option is that if you are doing an advanced diploma, which is fast track, then you have to do a diploma. There is no way. And then your CDR quality needs to be very, very spot on as per the CDRs or engine Australia requirements. So these are the complete scenarios. Now, if you still need any help, do let us know. We also have lots of options for you to do a diploma, either a concurrent or in a fast track. Because one thing also you need to remember that diploma, you can do fast track. Because you're already done the advanced diploma. Diploma can be done in fast track. So probably eight, nine months, if you're able to finish all the courses concurrently or in a fast track, that would be perfectly fine. So again, yes, those who are doing advanced diploma, but it's a fast track that you do diploma, but you can do it concurrently as well. This is how you will able to get a positive skill assessment. So if you have any queries, feel free to contact my team. I hope this video will help you out making a right decision to become a civil engineering dark person or you can help your friends who are doing the similar course. All the best.